This is the piece of wood that Sitka spruce we have cut. And that's going to go in and get glued down here that way. But it's a little bit too high. And so we're going to go in and we're going to work it a little bit. But there's a cosmetic issue too, which is that I'm not sure I need black wood visible. I'm just going to sand it off. That was from the burning of the cut. Just a cosmetic issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, now our principal issue is that it's a little bit too high and I can take it down now with this, but I also could use files later. But I think I'll see what I can do with this stone. See what we got here. I have no problem using file to take it down. That will certainly work well. I can always take off more, right? there because it was cut with a saw and a high speed Dremel saw. Now that I can still tell it was painted, but let's see how our fit is. That's where it belongs. It's still a little bit high. So it'll also be out more because it'll have blue. So I think we should keep on seeing. A lot of this piano repair is, you know, stuff like this, where you're kind of working by hand with little teeny pieces of wood. It's a nut job. Still just a little high. Again, I'm not against using files in the final analysis to make it exactly what I wanted. It's okay to keep testing because you can always take off more. Hmm. Hmm. 
Given that I may have to flatten it a little bit, by that I mean smooth it, it's not such a bad idea to have a little bit too much. <clears throat> I can always take it down gently with teeny files, and I can even fill it with a little bit of glue in here. So I think I'm ready to make my move with the glue. The best glue for this job is wood glue. It's a pretty tough glue. That means that I'll be shaping it with the file. Tomorrow morning. <laughs> 